Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. Here we are back in um, Dawn of Man. Sorry, I forgot, temporarily forgot what we were playing then. Dawn of Man. Uh, this is our, well it's it's kind of a city building game in a way. Not much of a city, mind you, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of fun. It's uh, There's a lot to learn. <clears throat> in recent episodes, I've been a little bit stuck, but I've done a little bit of research off camera. And uh, I've realized what I need to do now to progress my people into the next age. Uh, you do that by getting knowledge points, and I need more knowledge points. And so what I've discovered is, if you push uh, 8 on your keyboard, it brings up this lovely menu here. And this is so helpful because this is telling us how we get more knowledge points. So you can see here, if we get up to 20 population, we'll gain 3 knowledge points. Well, if we kill... Uh, well, that's not actually telling me that one. There we go. If we kill a cave bear, we'll get 2. Um, maybe we won't get knowledge if we do some of these. Or maybe that's just... Oh, I don't know why that's not telling me. I'm sure that was telling me earlier what I would get. Storage tent, 2 or 3. Yeah, I think that's just bugged a little bit there, but but the idea is you need to fill these up, basically. So I need to build another storage tent, I need to build two more hearths, uh, three more skull poles, two more burial mounds. You get the idea, so if you do all of these things, plus you do various bits of killing, they will give you um, knowledge points. And down here you have resources acquired as well, so uh, the more you, basically the more you play the game, the more you end up getting knowledge points that's the idea um, so yeah brilliant I brilliant that I found this menu so really frustrating that it doesn't tell you how to, I don't know how to get this from within the game other than pushing 8 on my keyboard there's there's nothing that I can see I'm sure it is here somewhere but I just I can't see anything in all of these things that brings up that same menu which is really annoying I had to google it to find out how I uh, how I get more knowledge points so it's kind of frustrating um, you'd think things like that would be a, a, a key resource in the game. But there we go, I'm not going to moan. Uh, I do that a lot in these games because uh, most of these games do have slight little flaws like that that can be quite frustrating. So let's have a look at our workload. We have loads of free workspace. So let's do some of these buildings. So what did we have? We had another storage tent required. Uh, no, hang on, I've forgotten how you turn stuff. Uh, I was hoping I could put that on a slight angle. Why is that? No oh no, that's not what I wanted. Let's cancel that. No, nope, don't want that. I want storage. Oh, I guess it can only be built on certain angles. Okay, well let's uh, let's put it there. There we go. Uh, right, we have a trader. Let's just check out the trader. What do they want? Um, trader stock. Do I need any of these things? Bread, pulses, logs, dry fish, flint, and biface. I don't think I do really. Dry fish, maybe. Yeah, I've only got one dry fish, so maybe I should buy some of these. Um, it never hurts to have some food. I don't know if I can afford any of these things, mind you. Uh, I can probably sell some flint. Oh, no, is there something else that's worth one? Yes, a log or pulses. Let's take all the pulses, actually. They seem some, like something that would be useful. There you go. I'll lose some bones and some flint and I'll get a whole load of food. Brilliant can't have too much food I'm guessing in this sort of game okay right we have a storage tent being built uh, what was the other one it was um, spiritual wasn't it yes these skull posts or poles it reckoned I needed what was it three more of them I think let's just spread them around over here by the river there we go give people a bit of room to maneuver around them as well and then burial mounds was the other one I needed two more of these so let's keep them over here excellent there we go right that's that is going to get me once all of that is built that is going to get me a whole load 
of knowledge points. Now, of course, the other thing I need to do to get knowledge points is hunt some more stuff. Uh, now, what is this tree? Not sure why that one's highlighted quite like that. Let's have a look. Is there anything around to hunt? Yeah, you see, we have these... We have the cave, cave bears over here. I am tempted to try and hunt one of these. What is this one in here? Oh, is that one of my dogs? Not sure, it might be a wild one. I am tempted to try and get a cave bear. Let's see what happens. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit afraid that if I attack one, the other two might attack me. But I'm willing to give it a go and see what happens. Right, people with morale is still pretty low by the looks of it. I don't know what I can do. Going to get bread. Okay, well that might cheer him up if he gets some nice food. Look, there's bits of bread and pulses and all sorts around here. Oh, he's sitting in the fire. That's not going to help his mood, is he? <laughs> That's going to burn your backside, you crazy man. Never mind. Okay, we've got lots of people building now. Do we have people hunting? Oh, cave bear. Yes, we do have people hunting. Oh, yes, look. Our expedition is going out. We have our excellent fighter here. Who do we have? Vizra. No, hang on. Virza. She's an old woman. Oh, dear. That's maybe not a good sign. Oh, look. The bears are standing up. Is that a good thing? I'm not sure. They certainly don't move very quickly when they're hunting. Kind of hoping she might be doing a bit more than that. Oh, look. A couple of friends going with her as well. Oh, no. Get, what? Going to get a sling? Going to get a sling? Oh. You should have got that before you left the camp, really, shouldn't you? Okay, now she's stalking. Oh, good. Look, the bears stay behind. It's separate from the others. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, look at this. She's getting it. She's getting it. One more. Go on. Oh, no. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, I do hope our doggies survive. Oh, it killed a dog. Go on, kill it, kill it, kill it. I was going to kill another one. Oh, no. We did it. We killed a bear. Look at that. Yes. Cave bear. Knowledge plus two. Fantastic. Fury. Oh, that was nasty, though, wasn't it? I'd kind of like someone to still go and hunt the other two, to be honest. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's keep hunting. I'm up for that. I think these ones aren't so nasty. That cave bear was pretty nasty, and it did kill... Well, it killed one of our dogs. Our other dog is... Oh, dear, it's going to limp home. Not sure. Ah, look. Knowledge plus one again. Yeah, great. Uh, I'm not sure how you heal people or dogs. I think it will just happen naturally over time. Um, oh, that was that was a shame. We lost one of our doggies. I'm hoping more might turn up. I think they do. Oh, look, we've got all our skull piles getting built. Oh, another cave bear attack. What? What are you talking about? Don't know what it's talking about. Right. Um, yeah, we've got one more of our skull things to be built here. Right, everything's being taken into that storage tent. Excellent. Look at these things. These went up pretty quick, didn't they? I'm guessing they don't need a lot. Yeah, they only need three things. Right, looking good then. So let's have a look. What other buildings were there? I think, no, we're done. Everything else we've got enough of. So it is just these ones we're waiting on. Oh, that was the hearth, wasn't it? Of course. Uh, where is the hearth? Right, you have tents in there, wood piles and rock piles, production, half. Okay, maybe we should get some more of these in. Let's get one over there, maybe get another one down there. Let's get another one there as well. Let's give people lots of places to uh, to cook and uh, and sit around and get warmth. Actually, what else was in that menu there? That was production, wasn't it? I think we've got enough of everything else. We've got two crafters. We have a skins dryer. Actually, we have four skins dryers. Food dryer is 
open here. Yeah, see, there's only still only one of those. I might consider maybe get another one of those. And a tanner, which is this little one down here. It doesn't seem to be doing a lot. So yeah, we'll leave that as it is. Excellent. Right, there's quite a lot of workload going on now. Mainly because we've got three people hunting. Um, are people coming over here? Yes, look, we have people hunting again. This is good. Although she's... Oh no, she's taking the injured dog with her. Well, that's just mean. Let the poor thing rest. Oh look, they're going after the, the bears. Oh look, there's a whole load of people here hunting it already. And we killed it. Oh, fantastic. But we've still got this one over here. Oh, and this is the injured one as well, so that'll be really easy to kill. Excellent. Right, we've got people chopping that one up. I'm assuming the other one's been chopped up by now as well then. Yeah, there it is. Look, we've got a load of stuff on the floor. Ah, oh, look, I can actually butcher my dog. That's a little bit mean, but, <laughs> you know, it's that sort of game. Can't be fussy where your meat comes from, can you? What have we got here? Stone, okay. Right, this lot here are coming over to finish off that bear. That's great. Right, 13 knowledge. We need two more knowledge. And then we can go up to the next level. Actually, where is that? That's... No, hang on. Um... I can never remember where to look for these things. Um, build, no, help, primal vision, it's got to be in here. Defense, text, there we go, that's the one I'm looking for, text. Yes, so we need 15 to go up to this one, which is pottery. And that'll open up all these other things as well, and that will hopefully allow us to start making new things, new buildings possibly, for better hunting, I guess. I don't know, we shall see. I don't know if uh, when you got to the next age all your buildings suddenly start looking any different or whether you have to manually update them. Right, what are we waiting for here? One bone. Oh, we've nearly got all our burial mounds. Acquired raw meat times 100, knowledge plus one. Fantastic. We are so close to getting our knowledge up. We're about to finish off our third burial mound as well. That will give us our extra knowledge that we need. All this is exciting, isn't it? Knowledge plus one. Yes. Here we are then. Let's unlock pottery. Required for water and well digging. Right, let's see if that opens stuff up. Pottery unlocked. Milestone unlocked. Structure built. Right, pottery. Let's have a look at pottery. Um, the ability to transport and store water. This is a lot more efficient than having people go into water source every time. Great. So, what... Oh, hello. Transportation. Ah, transports will greatly increase efficiency. the efficiency of your settlement. Some resources, like log, stone, copper, tin, iron, are heavy and difficult to carry around. Only adults can transport these at very low speeds, one at a time, and with a penalty to morale. Sledges and carts solve this problem. They allow you to transport several heavy resources at a time a lot more efficiently. Okay, that is good. So let's see if I've got new stuff that I can build. Let's have a look. Residence. No, still basic residence. Storage. Still the same. Production. No, still the same. Spiritual, still the same. Funerary, still the same. Okay, so everything is still the same. I can't build anything. What? <laughs> Transport. <laughs> maybe I just... Ah, oh, hang on, look. Ah, skull pole, knowledge plus one. Okay, so maybe I need to unlock these things. Let's have a look. Bone polishing. Hmm. Stone polishing. Archery, grain processing. Right, well, that unlocks quite a lot. 
pulse processing, good. Sledge making, ah, here we go. So I need to unlock that for, um, for making sledges, right, and spirituality. Okay, so I need seven, um, I need seven knowledge then to unlock that one. Quite for water and well digging. So, so where where does that come into it? Ooh, what's this? Milestone unlocked. Right, humble beginnings. Okay, not sure what was going on there. Do we have a different work area now, maybe? Extract water. Is that a new one? I think it is. Hunt fish, collect wild plants, obtain stone, obtain flint, gather sticks. So yeah, extract water does seem to be a thing, but I don't know where I store it. Oh, let's have a look. Work area exhausted, obtain flint. Okay, that's fine. So the flint is gone. Right, no problem. I'm intrigued by extracting water. Because I don't know where it goes. Oh look, acquired leather times 10. My knowledge is flying up now, this is great. Not entirely sure what happens to our water though. Let's get a couple of people on there. Um, I don't know, maybe water is now just a resource and they just store it somehow. That wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it? Is this our injured dog? Yeah. He's healing. I'm assuming that will just slowly go up. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Our dog's getting better. Although we did lose one, which is kind of sad. It's snowing now, which is very pretty to look at. But, um, yeah, kind of a shame that uh, people have still only got little tents to live in. Still, I've built them all some more fireplaces. Uh, well, I've got three. One of them is still being built. Uh, are we running low on logs? No, not massively. What do you get? Logs and sticks. In oh, we're very low on sticks. Maybe I should chop a few trees down and build up our log production or a log uh, no I don't want to chop down a chestnut do I uh, a spruce yeah go on then just cut down a few I don't know how many you get from these things how are we looking here do I need some more stone oh god yeah I really do need some more stone let's do some some mining there um, are there still plenty of sticks around Yes, there are still plenty of sticks. That's good. Uh, right, let's have a look at Primal Vision, shall we? See if there's some hunting to be done. Doesn't look like it, does it? No, there's absolutely nothing around. Oh, hang on, what have we got up here? You look nasty. How much health have you got? 300? That's not the end of the world, actually. I reckon I can take that. Let's send some people out and see what happens, I guess. Right, let's have a look at this menu then. So I've got all of my achievements from buildings. That's good. Um, as far as these all go, I guess it just happens naturally over time. I can't really force any of these. Uh, where's the logs actually? Let's have a look. Because logs is something I can do. Oh, you need a hundred logs. Okay, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, hunting. Yeah, I guess hunting will just keep on happening. I just have to keep on hunting everything I can, basically. Uh, population. I'm still only on 18. I'm not attracting new people at the moment. Raiders killed. Domestic animals. I've still only got 3 out of 10. Uh, acquired water. 
times 10, knowledge plus 1. Okay, so is water stored? Yeah, look at that, water stored, 10. Fantastic. So that's really good. That's going to help people not have to walk so far to get water. They can just um, stay by the camp. Oh, look at that, I've got 6 knowledge already. Right, how are we doing over here? Are people off to hunt? Oh yes, I think the dogs are going out by the looks of it. Going after the thingy. I don't know what it is. Look, we've got three of them there. This is going to be interesting. Uh, what is that? An aurochs. It's a big cow, isn't it? I want to say it's a cow. Oh, this is good. It's lying down so we can catch it unawares. I hope. Quite a lot of resources around here. Still can't mine copy yet. But that's fine. Come on, guys. Sneak up on it. You're not being very stealthy. You need to try and speed up a bit. They really do take their time, don't they? Now, I'm assuming this is an aggressive animal, so when we attack it, I think it's probably going to stay and fight rather than running away like I would probably want it to. Let's have a look. Yes, it's going to attack. Look how quickly they're damaging it, though. Boom! Dead. Knowledge plus one. Fantastic. Look at that. You get six meat. Four raw skins and two bones from it as well. Right, we have our seven knowledge. I can unlock something. What do I want to unlock? Um, it was one down here, wasn't it? Sledge, yeah. Click to unlock sledge making. So required for transport posts, stilting and sledge. Let's try it. So I'm hoping it might unlock some new buildings. Sledge making unlocked. Unlocks the construction of sledges, which are critical transport in the early eras. Okay. So, do I have a new building? Yeah, look at that. Transport. A transport post. A place to leave transport. And a sledge. A basic human pulled transport. I wonder if you need one transport post per... Um, per, per, per transport thing, per sledge, or, or what? I don't know. I feel like I just want to build a few of them there first to see... Um, to see how this works. I don't know. It's all a bit random this, isn't it? Let's wait. Let's. I'm, I'm just going to let these get built first. Let's do that first. Oh, look. Sledge can be attached to this structure. So sledge, a cart, or a plow. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go for three. And uh, and then I'll build... All right. Let's do it. Let's, let's build some sledges as well while we are there um, it's not letting me do that I did unlock stilting so I don't know why it doesn't let me um, do anything with that we haven't unlocked the wheel yet let's build three of them as well one for each of the hookup points um, where is the wheel then? I'm guessing that's not for a way yet. Oh, look at that, the wheel. That's copper age, isn't it? That's miles away. Right, so what might we do next, do we think? Required for sickles, knives, stone polishing, underground mining. That could be an interesting one. But still, it's yeah. I want stuff that unlocks some... Oh, fortifications and bows. You see, that could be an interesting one, couldn't it? So build some fortifications. Haystack, mortar, pulse processing, flour, bread. That's quite a major thing by the looks of it. Cereal domestication. Right, and then totems and megalith. I'm guessing this one down here might help with morale. So that could be quite an important one. But I'm kind of tempted to do archery next. But I need to get more knowledge points, of course. So I will do that next. Hmm. 
Well, my people are building stuff. Uh, look, we've got our ooh, first structure, transport post, knowledge plus one, fantastic. Um, our food dryers are in use, which is good. Order. Built my second one just a little while ago, didn't I? Oh yes, let's have a look at that menu because we have some new buildings now, don't we? Transport posts. Are they even on here? No, it doesn't look like that. Oh, they're down here. Sorry, I'm going mad. Uh, transport post 1. Sledge 0 of 1. So we'll get a point when we do that. That's good. Um, I guess these are, these don't operate by the looks of it in the same way as these ones. So these ones, you get a point for your first kill and then you get multiple points um, afterwards for certain things. So once you get 5 kills and then I think it's 7 or 10 or something like that. Um still only 18 people we're not attracting people at all are we oh domestic animals four have we gained another dog do we have four dogs we have one there we have one there and we have one there do we have another one Ooh, I'm intrigued as to where our dogs are oh look there's loads of logs everywhere that's good logs and sticks great Okay, not sure where our fourth dog might be, but that's certainly what it seems like we have, is um, four doggies. Uh, let's just check over here. Yeah, we've still got some stuff to be picked up from over here. Skins and meat. I assume people will be on their way to pick that up. You might find that the dogs are going with them. The dogs seem to just kind of wander around on their own anyway. Um, I don't know how I can see about my dogs. Oh, what, what's wrong with you? Hydration? We have lots of stored water. We have 20 stored water. Where does that get stored, do we think? Ah, oh, there we go. It's in that storage hut there. So why are you moaning? Look, you've gone to drink out of the river when you've got water being stored over there. Crazy man. Never mind if that's what he wants to do. As long as he drinks, that's the main thing. Right, our hitching posts are all done. Just waiting for our sledges to be built and then hopefully people can be a bit more efficient. Ah, survived the winter. Knowledge plus one. Fantastic. We survived again. Right, let's get some more stone. Still loads of stone to be gotten out of this. I don't have to keep on telling them to mine it. I wish I could, they could just do it. Actually, I think you can, can't you? Let's... Because you can set up these for extraction. Obtain stone. There we go, let's do that. And let's get a couple of people doing that. There's quite a lot of stone over here as well. Yeah, stone everywhere. Got some tin. Ooh, there's a goat. Go kill the goat. That's a good one. That's on our list, I'm sure of it. A mouflon. Let's have a look. Ah, mouflon, yeah. Seven out of ten. So we need three more of them and we'll get some more knowledge points. But um, Only one at the moment, but that's great. Let's just double check, actually, see if there's anything else around. Got to keep an eye on these things. Right, well, we've got a donkey, I think, over there. I oh, know, wild horse. Do you know what? I am going to send some people out hunting because if we don't, then, um, it's, you know, you don't want to wait for things to come walking straight into your camp. You're going to have to travel a little bit, I would say. Still got this dog walking around over here. I don't know if that's one of mine or not. Hang on, it shows blue. What do my other dogs look like? Yeah, actually, my other dogs look blue as well, so... I'm not going to attack that one. I assume it's possibly one of mine. Oh, look, we've got all sorts over here. Fantastic. What have we got here? Oh, those things. Ancient bison. They look quite nasty. But we have boars over here. Let's kill some boars, shall we? Oh, capture. Pig domestication. That would be an interesting thing to do in the future, won't it? There we go. Right, lots and lots of hunting going on there. I don't think I've seen the boars before. Oh, look at them. They are so cute. 
I love these little baby baby wild hogs. They uh they look like little humbugs. If you don't know what humbug is, it's a sweet <laughs> that we have in England, and it looks exactly like this. Black and white stripes, brilliant, lovely little things. Oh, what's this up here? Oh, iron ore. Yeah, still can't mine that either. Oh, your workload is too high. I have too much work going on. Well, okay. They don't have to do it all at once, do they? Take They can take their time. It's fine. Very high. Yeah, it's because I've just told them to go hunting, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. I'll tell you what. We've got lots of water now. Let's just shrink that down. And let's just shrink that down to one as well. Fishing. Uh, let's shrink fishing down a bit. Oh look we built our first sledge, that's good. Um, we don't seem to be very good at fishing anyway. We only have three dry fish, no raw fish. Our, our people are just crap at fishing aren't they? It doesn't seem to be a very good source of food. I guess meat is our best source of food. And I don't even know how that works in the game actually, how the the whole food thing goes. We never seem to run out of food, do we? But I assume it does actually get consumed. I don't know. Never mind. I am intrigued as to why my dog is over here. If, if indeed it is one of my dogs. Where is he? Is he still over here? Or has he come back? Oh, here he is, look. I think he is one of mine. Yeah, going to Visor. Okay, well that's good. He's coming back. So do we have four dogs? Let's have a look. That's look, he's, he's possibly sprinting. There she is. So what's she doing? Oh, she's going after the goats. Where's the goat gone? Well, there's some over there. Is that? Oh yeah, look, they've all gone over there. There's three of them over there now. Wow, okay. Right. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's one dog going out there. You've got one here. One here. Oh, I don't know where the other one's gone. Can't keep tracks of these dogs. Anyway, never mind. Our um, sledges are being made now, so hopefully people start using them. That would be good. I know the workload is too high. It's fine. Stuff will happen soon. These guys are going hunting for boars, I think. Yeah. Nice. Right, so it's going to be a little while before everything's sorted because they've got to go quite a long way for their hunting. But uh, there we go, that's fine. Right, do you know what? I'm going to call it a day there. I think that's um, that's a good point to end the episode. Everyone's going off hunting, so in our next episode we will keep an eye on that. Um, I think we've got those done now. Now that I kind of know a bit more about the um, this menu, where it tells me exactly what I need to do to get points, uh, it's very, very helpful indeed. So I can focus my energies a bit more on that now. Um, we've got a lot of things built in this episode, and we've moved up to the next era. We are we're now in the next one, which is which is really cool. We are now in the Mesolithic rather than the Paleolithic. I don't know how I pronounce those, but there we go. Uh, this one's easy: Neolithic, Copper Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. I can do them. Just not sure about these two. Uh, but there we go. So yeah, great. I think I'm going to go for archery next. So I need seven points for that. And we're on three. So yeah, a bit of work to do there. Uh, but yeah, let's leave it there. I'm really enjoying this game now, actually. I'm getting into it. It is a really slow game. So um, it's not going to be for everyone. I appreciate that. Um, but it's, it's kind of relaxing and fun. A lot of the games I play are relaxing. You know, I don't need fast-paced games with lots going on. And, you know, sometimes I just like to chill out after work and and just uh, yeah, just relax in the evenings and slowly um, sort of build up the colony or whatever it is that I'm doing. You know, most of my games are about either city building or you know colonies and that sort of thing. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's the sort of thing I find very very relaxing in the evenings. Right, so let's leave it there. So thank you very much for spending a bit of your time with me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, then please do hit the like button. That really helps out the channel, gets the videos out to more people. And um, hopefully you can join me again soon. Until then, take care. Bye for now.